In this video, I'm going to take a really quick look at the notation we can use when we're trying to represent a hydrogen bond. And the example molecule which I use is a very, very abundant molecule, which is H2O. H2O. And the reason I want to do this is because my last video was mainly focused on the, the understanding, the, the whole idea behind hydrogen bonding, rather than, you know, representing it in terms of notation and and all of that. So in this video, I'm going to take a quick look at how we would draw the notation of hydrogen bonding between H2O molecules. So I'm going to draw uh, three H2O molecules and show hydrogen bonds between them. And whilst I'm doing that, I'll explain the notation that we use. So let's just get rid of that quickly. Okay, so in the middle here, what I'll have is an oxygen atom. And I won't draw like dot and cross notation or anything like that. What I'll just do is I'll draw a line to represent the bond from the oxygen to the hydrogen. And the same thing at the other side, oxygen to hydrogen. And the next thing I'm going to do is draw on the lone pairs of the oxygen. And what the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to represent them using X's. So one X would be one electron. So we've got an X and an X. So this is basically um, one lone pair of electrons and an x and an x and this is basically another lone pair of electrons and so now we've got the molecule um, of h2o now the second thing we need to bear in mind is that this molecule is not a non-polar molecule this molecule is polar and we need to show that we 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 get that so in order to show that this to to, to show, actually show um, that this molecule is polar what we need to do is draw on the dipole so we need to dipole plus and since I've drawn up the, the electrons in red I won't use that for the dipoles I'll use um yeah I'll just use purple dipole plus so we've got oh wait no 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 not dipole plus dipole de delta minus and so this this oxygen is slightly negative since it's more electronegative it's going to be greedy with the electrons and hydrogens are going to both be slightly positive so we just need to make sure we draw that on. So we've got the delta plus, delta plus, delta minus. And so now what we can do is just draw another molecule of this and represent the hydrogen bonds. So let me just do that. I just copy this and paste this. So I'm going to draw one here. So I'll drag that and paste it, have it just there and paste another one and drag it to there. The reason why I've done it like this is because each of each of the oxygen atoms has two lone pairs, and so those two lone pairs can form hydrogen bonds with um, hydrogen atoms. So since there's two lone pairs, we can form one with, between this lone pair and this hydrogen, and one between this lone pair and this hydrogen. And the way we can do this is we can actually draw, if we wanted to, we can draw the um, we can draw the line going through the lone pairs. Uh, I'm not sure if we actually have to do that, but you can if you want to. But what you can do is actually draw, make sure it's coming from the lone pairs towards the middle of it, and then a dashed line. So let me try that again. A dashed line going like that. So the hydrogen is going directly to the lone pair, and this hydrogen would be doing the same. So it'd be going directly to the lone pair. And so this is more or less all the notation we need to use to represent that there's a hydrogen bond present and so these hydrogens over here i haven't actually drawn them bonded to anything but those would be probably you know bonded these are the hydrogens and the oxygens would probably be bonded to something over there somewhere so yeah this is the notation we'd use and i hope this video has been helpful and i'll see you guys in the next video